Welcome to I Love Stocks. We're going to talk about a little ticker called AMC. Light up, turn, sit down, grab you some popcorn, and let's go ahead and go through this. Reasons why I particularly not happy with what happened today with a few of our platforms. They wanted to shut down AMC, as you know, they have some of the best popcorn around. I love their popcorn. Last time I went in there, I ordered the biggest bucket I could, took it home, and I think I ate off of it for three days. But it was just the best popcorn I ever had. And so that's one good thing about AMC. And the other one is it's entertainment. So it's a place where you can take your dates out at night. And I think with the turnaround of COVID, we're going to start, theaters are going to start opening up. Here in about another six months, you won't, you won't even hear nothing about COVID anymore. Just be writing books about it. But she's had a heck of a run, and today in the news, I think everybody is aware that Robinhood had, and a few other platforms put restrictions on trading. You could sell your, if you were in the trade, you could sell it. If not, they were trying to slow down the momentum. Uh, they say they didn't have a liquidity problem. They said they were trying to protect the customers, but I think they actually hurt customers. I mean, it's supposed to be a free market. It's supposed to be open to everybody. I mean, you know you take the risk when you get into a trade. You know you take a risk when you get out of one. You know, if you make profit or if you lose. So I'm, I'm really biased about what's going on here lately, and I think the government's going to come in here like they did during Wall Street reform now, back during the Obama administration, and add some kind of rules to, to these big gainers that are just running up, you know, huge. GameStop is one of them, AMC, uh, Blackberry running, you know, and stocks that aren't running up on news are just taking off like rockets. And, you know, I've, I've been trading for 15 years and I've seen every year has been different to me every year, every year, something different about every year that trades and COVID was last year and we had a huge market crash and we rebounded with a nice V recovery. So let's go ahead and get back to looking at the stock right now. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, that Wall Street does manipulate the market. And now they're crying like little crybabies because they're not doing very well. And my thumbs up to all retail traders out there. And I think I am part of the revolution. I have been against the fat cats ever since I was a young kid, and I still am. That's why I trade stocks, because I want to be like one of them. I want to have that money. I want to have that freedom. Instead, limit it to a few lobbyists and government officials that that are also cheating the market. And they're going to be cheating it again. You just watch. They're going to come out with some legislation. And I hope it ain't nothing as bad as that PDT rule was. So let's go ahead and start looking at the chart. AMC, we were talking about it today. It pulled back pretty hard at, 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 at in the morning. So I called a little support area after we run up to hit the 1077 resistance I called a support channel between 861 and 1077 and that 1077 needed a break and once it did we got up here to the pivot point area and that's right around that 1283 so that's what we need to break 1283 so far it's looking pretty good this is my VWAP chart so let me pull up a different one here well, we can read a little bit clearer so we're at 1283 we need to break that if we can break that resistance we've got four more to get to and that's 1507 1744 1937 and 2143 now if it does pull back i think it's going to be a strong buy because there's going to be people that are stuck in this trade that pulled back that couldn't get out of it or, or i don't know it's just a mess up today on how how some of these platforms are manipulating the market without any rules or any adjust consequences. Yeah, I mean, these stocks are being pumped, but they always are. I mean, they're pumping them when they short them. They pump them when they, when they go up. And social media might have something to do with, with the big comp, uh, growth with the retail traders and the Internet. And I'm glad that it is open up to smaller people so they can put their hand in that in that little pocket and pull out some gold. So AMC, like I said, if we pull back, I don't see it going any lower than 861 for a solid buy. That first support's gonna be right here at 1077. 
pivot point again at 1283, 1507, 1744, 1937, and 2143. I think we can go ahead and catch some momentum tomorrow. You might see this thing pull back or you might see it jump up and pull back. But always remember that 1283 is going to be the important level to hold or to break. And that's going to be AMC. And I think that's about all. I'm going to pull up the website again. we got a little Twitter bird over here, a little icon. You hit that, you can pull up. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here at all times. We only like to pull the momentum plays. She's the money queen. And I kind of, the tape master, we both work together very well. She, you know, I like to buy it support and sell it resistance. She likes them 52 week high breakouts. But we're momentum traders. We, we trade price action. So you can always follow tickers on this uh, Twitter page or you can go to our stock twits. We also have our pages here. Hit that follow button. Miss Vegas also has one. You can hit that right up here, that second one. Hit that one. And you add to her followers. And I think that's about it. Hit that like button and subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates on our videos. We surely do appreciate it. And we wish everybody a great day.